Hello, this is Kit. I was watching a YouTube uh, by Art a la carte, um, and what she did today was a realistic eye challenge. So I thought, what the heck? I better do it. So I uh, I did a little quick sketch before I started in in my blue pencil. But the first thing I did was look up on uh, Google um, close-up of eyes. And of course there was lots. So I um, in picked one and did a quick sketch before I started. And here you can see I'm using Copic markers. And at the moment all I have are um, cool grays so what I'm going to have to do is uh, use my watercolor pencils and I have three kinds. Uh, one of them, which is one literally, uh, is my Prismacolor Premier Black and then my other ones are Super Color 2 Soft by Canador and then I have some more which I bought a set of watercolors pencils by Derwent. So with all those I tried to cobble together um, a colored rendering of a realistic eye. Uh, above you see that I have a Kindle that I put the picture up. So uh, Anyway, here I'm starting with the watercolor pencils, um, some of them over the top of the uh, Coptic markers. This has been a real challenge for me because I am not, I don't use watercolor pencils all that much. So I, I do watercolors, but the pencils I've not used, so this is, I'm trying to get used to it and uh, we'll see how it works out. So I'm trying to put in the uh, all the things that happened in your eye. If you look at your eye, I mean there's a lot of stuff going on. So I'm, I'm trying to get the circular kind of colors, concentric uh, colors. And in the yellow, this is a, a somebody that has a green, has green eyes. And um, in the green eyes it had quite a bit of yellow. So I'm trying to get these concentric circles and I'm t trying to light them up with the, with the pupil uh, and not forget to try to make them concentric around them pupil. So uh, that was one thing while I was drawing uh, that I thought of right in the middle because I started to go square and, and so I tried to correct that. So uh, and I'm trying to get the the dark dark green of the outer part of the uh, uh, iris and I don't really have a dark green, so I undercolored it with a Prussian blue and then put a green on top of it. And uh, here you see that I'm trying to darken some of the grays with a gray watercolor pencil. Now I did go back in with Coptic markers, right here actually, and what happened was the watercolor pencils, of course, went the liquid, which is what they would do. Uh, I was curious to see how that would how that would work. Um, but I've run outside the line up there in the uh, right hand corner of the eye, and I'm going to go in with uh, with a white watercolor pencil and try to take that out. Um, but again here I'm going in over the top 
of the of the retina and trying to get it dark actually when I was doing it this looks really dark right here but uh, as I was doing it, it seemed like it was just not wasn't black even though it said it was black so here I am trying to get it dark near the the center and to the to the left of the cornea you can see where I've left a big pie shaped gap for the reflection and you actually could see what was reflected in her eye ah there I go trying to get that get that wandering color out of the way but the eyelashes are going to go there and uh, it'll it'll kind of go away so now I'm trying to get more of the shadow dark darkness right under the the eyelid and up um, that jumped oh I know what happened uh, what happened was my my video went out and I didn't know it so it jumped to when I figured out that it went out I started it again and of course got it centered a little bit better and uh, you can see I put some of the blue in on the highlight and then there's some shadow of the eyelash coming across the eye and well and, and in in the black part of the eye there actually was a highlight hitting into it and I went in with my gel white pen to see if I could get that to work um, here I'm doing the white the whites of the eye and trying to get it had kind of a texture on the whites of the eye and I was trying to get it uh, then here at the corner when I did makeup in the theater they always wanted you to put a little bit of red right at the inside corner of the eye and so actually on the photograph there was a slight tinge of red there so I did put that in um, now I'm putting the eyelashes in and, and I'm trying on the bottom to to keep the thickness of the skin uh, and not put the eyelash right next to the eye uh, so it will uh, show the thickness there of, of the skin and here I am <laughs> putting the eyelashes and uh, oh and why there's no skin tones on this is because in my colored pencils I have no skin tones but I kind of like it on a white background. It it's, looks, you know, kind of cool. Uh, and here there was some white reflections on the on the colored part of the eye, on the yellow part of the eye that I tried to get in there. Um, and then here's the rest of the highlights and kind of softening that edge of the color going into the white. And I I like I like actually I like that that worked really well with that kind of blue gray uh, colored pencil and uh, so I'm about done here uh, and I'm pretty pleased with it actually from a distance it looks pretty good anyway thank you for watching and please subscribe.